I founded Ex Machina in 1999, mainly out of the reason to be um, completely independent and um, not uh, be dependent on, on other musicians. Um, because I played in, in several bands and uh, sometimes it was very frustrating. You have to discuss which direction you will have to go and all the stuff and I want to have creative freedom and I want to have I wanted to have creative uh, control over my output and therefore I founded Ex Machina and um, I released uh, some albums after I moved back um, I thought I wanted to go in, into different direction um, but it should be still Ex Machina, but I wanted to have something, or wanted to do something different. And I thought, well, it could be nice to invite someone else and have discussions again, but on another level. And um, that was the time when, when Toby came on board. And it was a good decision. Yeah, I come to Ex Machina in the year 2008, in November, I think so. And at the beginning it was not so easy for me because as I come back from Berlin I've played there only in punk bands, alternative rock bands, or made some recordings and live mixings for bands. And so for me it was not so easy to say, okay, I make electronic music now. But it was a good decision that I have done it. Um, because I've seen, I have so many you know, things I can do there in the electronic way. What I don't, can't do if I play real normal drums or so, so you can have other sounds, can play with it. It was a very, very good decision for me to do that. And so I'm very happy that I've done it. Out of the collaboration with Toby um, came the album Line of Time, um, which was a step forward for, for Ex Machina. Um, and it also showed that the relationship and the, the, the working relationship was, was really, really good because it was really straightforward working, it was really fast working, um, which was quite the opposite of what I did before. <laughs> and after that album, after we, we released that album, we went straight back into the studio and worked on No One, which is now the album we are talking about, which is darker, um, which a little bit more, or, yeah, a little bit more raw sounding than the album before. The album will be out in, in April this year, in 2013. And um, I think it, it's a really good album. I'm really content, although it's a little bit fresh and a little bit, you know, uh, it's too too fresh at the moment to say something profound about it. But I really, I'm, I'm really, really content with it. I'm really, really looking forward to letting this beast out to the public. Yeah, the work of the new album was very interesting too this time, but it was mm, so easy to say, okay, this is the final version of the song and we finish it now. So it took time and time, so that it works for two years now and then our label comes and said, okay, now we have the time for one month to finish the album, that was good so. And after that yeah, we had finished that now and I think it's a very, very good album with a fantastic sound, a completely new kind of mastering. And yeah, I, I hope it will be very good for you too. So, if you enjoy it and have fun with it.
for the future we plan to definitely play live. It was something that we, we stored away a little bit um, in favor of working in the studio again. We don't want to, to do a playback show. Um, we want to really, really, really mix on stage, um, have total access to our sounds on stage and um, yeah, partially really recompose and rearrange things on stage and you know, live presentation at the moment was, is, is what at the moment is in my, my head and is, is what, what is most important for me at the moment. Yeah, the future of Ex Machina, the next time we're working on our stage program and after that I think we will make a new album during we will make our live sessions, we will work on a new album and also at the moment we are working for some video presentations that we will want to play next to our music on stage and that's the work we do now and here yeah, have fun with the album, no one and I hope we see you live. Right now, keep playing your games, but I keep myself on.